Attenuation? 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 You mean the weakening of a sound beam that propagates through a medium? You mean the one that decreases intensity, amplitude, and power? You mean the one that's measured in decibels? Attenuation? You mean the one that encompasses absorption, reflection, and scattering? With absorption being the most dominant factor? Attenuation? President Ashley was asking me to solve for attenuation. So here we are. Assist Brit, go ahead and read me my problem. A 4 megahertz ultrasound with 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Intensity is applied to a soft tissue surface. What is the intensity of 1.5 centimeters into the tissue? All right, so this is your length, the 1.5, and you want it in centimeters. The 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared right there, that's your initial intensity. And your 4 megahertz is your frequency. And we're solving for final intensity. So I'll just put it as IF. All right, so we start off with, first you got to do the attenuation coefficient so that then you can plug it into your problem. So actually for starters, right here, let me start giving you some equations. First, we're going to solve for the attenuation coefficient, which is decibel over centimeters. And that's equal to one half times frequency. Just put in your units. And after that, we're going to go ahead and plug that into attenuation, which is just in decibels, which is equal to your attenuation coefficient in decibels over centimeter times length. And then after that, we're going to solve for the final intensity. Final intensity is your initial intensity times the ratio. Who said anything about ratio? I did. But ratio comes from your attenuation. We'll get to that in a second. So let's start from step one. We do have a frequency. So what do we do? Plug it in. So AC decibels over centimeter equals one half times your four. frequency of four. And that ends up being AC equals two decibels over centimeters. And then we go ahead and plug into the next step. So now we have two centimeters and we have a length of 1.5. We're gonna plug in this next step from our attenuation coefficient and we're now looking for attenuation. So attenuation in decibels equals, that's your AC, two dB over centimeters times your length of 1.5, 1.5 centimeters. The centimeters end up canceling each other out and you end up That is three decibels. That's your attenuation. You think you solved the problem? You sleep. Wake up. Anyways, so you got to know your ratios. Three decibels of attenuation is equal to 50% reduction, which leaves you with a ratio of 0 0.5. Six decibels of attenuation is equal to 75% reduction, which leaves you with an attenuation of 0 0.25. 9 decibels of, of attenuation is equal to 87% reduction, which leaves you with an attenuation ratio of 0 0.13. And 10 decibels of attenuation is a 90% reduction, which leaves you with a decibel of 0 0.10. So 3 dBs, or 3 decibels, is equal to how much of a ratio? A half. Half. So that is the ratio of 3 decibels equals 0 0.5. Oh, and now we're plugging this in to our initial intensity. Our initial intensity, the 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared. 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared 
times, my bad, I like to put the beginning part so you know what you're solving for, final intensity equals 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared times our ratio of 0 0.50, 10 times 0 0.50 equals 5. So your final intensity is 5 milliwatts per centimeter squared. This is your answer. You just saw for attenuation. Remember what I was telling you. People are going to try to attenuate your life. But uh, just get past it. Don't be a soft tissue. Be a hard tissue. <laughs>